Hi my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Today I'm here with a review on this gift sets that I got from Walgreens. I wanted to tell you, as well as do a tutorial showing you, is it worth getting these gift sets for yourself or to your loved ones? So without further ado, let's start the video. So I will be using all three of these palettes. This is not my first impression. I have already played with this palette. I just wanted to show you guys on camera how it performs. So yeah, and as much as shades I, w I can use, it's good. So as you can see, oh, the palette is called Matte Metallic. So it came in a set, in a gift set with three. I got it from Walgreens for 12 bucks. So you do the math, so it's like $4 each palette. So it comes with a nice like crease shade, lid shade, and then they also have some two highlighter. Sorry, oops, highlighter, as you can see. So it's a nice palette. And like, if you're looking for a gift set for a makeup lover and who is a beginner to makeup, this is a perfect gift, I would say. And uh, let me show you the package because I already took it out of the package. So it came in a box like this. It's called Eye Compulsion. Uh, yeah. And it does give you like instruction in here how to do your eyeshadow. But I'm not going to follow that. I'll just... do my own okay so I have already done my base my eyebrows are done I've already set my eyelid and also done my foundation and I've already set my concealer so what I'm gonna do first is one thing is like this palettes they don't say any name I wish they did because it just looks like these but doesn't say any name so so I'm going to go ahead like this. I will be saying the colorful one, the warm neutral shades, and this is another one, the orange shades, as you can see. Okay, so from this first palette, I will be taking my lid shade, okay, and apply this all over my lid for my transition. As I was saying earlier, like I have already used this palette before. One thing I did notice was uh, the matte shades are not that pigmented. You just have to work with it a bit. So enough rambling, let's start the tutorial. So now from the brown palette I will be taking this lid shade this one right here and apply it on my crease for that I will be using a pencil brush so now I'm going to use the same brush clean it off and then from my colorful palette or the one which carries the purple, I'll take this lid shade. It's a dark brown and apply on my other eye. The reason I'm using a different brown from the palette, I wanna show you guys how each palette perform. See, this is more pigmented than the other one. Isn't it weird though? Like it's the same brown shades, right? Oh no, this one is, the one from this palette is more warm. And the other one from the brown palette is more cool tone. So I'm going to drive that color to my inner corner a bit. So I'm deciding to go with the same color. From the palette and go with the uh, on the other eyelid to intensify my 
to make my crease to make my crease shade intense. I'm thinking what to do. Okay. So now I will be taking a fluffy brush and go from this palette. I'll take this shade right here. Sorry. I'm trying to focus. Here we go. Sorry. This one right here. Honestly, these palettes are not bad. It's these are good. You just have to take a little bit time to blend it. That's all. And like look at like look at the price. It's affordable. It's like you're getting it each palette for four bucks. So for the price, the quality is really good. And the best part is, you know how some palettes tend to have more fallout? These shades don't, these palettes don't. And as I'm seeing myself in the monitor, the colors are looking really nice, opaque. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead with the shade again and apply the other lid. And this time, I'm also softening my the dark shades so that the shades come out smooth. So now I'm gonna take a clean brush and soften it a bit more. So now I'm thinking what shade should I go for? Should I do a colorful or just keep it to basic neutral shades? Hmm, thinking. Decision, decision. When you're playing with three palettes, it's hard. You know what? I'm kind of gravitating towards these two shades, the gray and the brown. Actually, with all these four shades, so I think I'll play around with these. I'm really impressed with this LA Color brand. This brand is like so affordable, but look the look at the color payoff. Amazing. So the way I'm packing the metallic shade is I'm just pressing it on my lid and then I'm blending it out. And am I getting any fallout? A little bit, not too much. What I did, I took this highlight shade, right one, this one, and apply it on my brow bone. Sorry guys, if my swatches like showing on the um, camera is not the best because I switched to my monitor from where I used to put all the time to the other side. So right now the camera is, sorry, the monitor is from on my left side. So right on your, uh, from your angle. So I'm getting confused and I keep on showing the other way. So that's why like once I'm showing in the monitor, I'm like, oh, wait a minute, it's not here. The camera is over there. Sorry, the monitor is over there. So I keep on going to the other opposite direction. So yes, I took, so sorry, that's another, I don't know why I say that. So I took that highlight shade and apply it on my brow bone just to clean out my transition and the crease, like look it more nice. So now, what I'm going to do, I will be t using this color, this purple shade, and apply it on my inner lash line. Like I'm gravitating towards this palette more than the other palettes. I don't know why, for some reason. Maybe it has color, the purple shade and this nice copper shade. That's why, I guess. Do you see, guys, how intense that color is? So I'm gonna clean my brush a bit and then take this shade that's darker than that purple. 
Actually, that's a navy blue shade. Why am I so horrible with swatches? Like, I always put it in the wrong places, awkward places. Anyways, story of my life. So I'm going to take the navy blue shade and apply in the outer V. But in the bottom lash line. And then connect both the color together. How beautiful is this shade? Love, love, love. So now I'm going to take another brush like this and blend it all together. So now, so I'm going to take this shade from this palette, this one right here. Okay. And use on my, take a pen, my pencil brush and go on my crease just to define or give a shape to my crease. I hope the color is showing on the camera because on my mirror I do see the shade. Okay, And then I'm connecting this navy blue with that shade. At this point, I honestly don't know what kind of look I'm going for, but I just want to show you guys more color from each palette. Take a little bit more, why not? And go ahead. How about we go with this metallic silver color. Mm -hmm. Can you guys see? I hope you can. Okay. I'm going to take it on my pencil brush go on my inner corner let's see what happens I don't know if anybody puts a metallic gray I did but it looks the color is nice that's all matters so I'm gonna go ahead where's my pencil brush and go with that metallic copper shade this one right here Go in on top of that shade, which I messed up. Guys, I'm back again. So off camera, I only did my mascara and in my waterline, I applied a black eye pencil. I decided this time not to go with an eyeliner since I really smoked up, I really smoked out my lower lash line. So I kept it like that so as I was looking in my monitor I saw that there was something something missing in my inner corner I just wanted to brighten it brighten it up a little bit so what I did for that I went ahead from this peach palette from this peach palette I went ahead with the this metallic golden shade I did try the silver, metallic silver, and I think it made my look really dark. So I had to, I know, I messed up on that side. But hey, that's fine. So now to continue with the rest of the face, I want to show you guys this LA Colors Highlight, Contour, and Blush palette. And this one, I believe, was $10.00. Let me verify. Sorry, yeah, 10 bucks. So it came in a box like this. It says all about that face. So you get your highlighter, contour, and the blush shades. Oh, another thing, guys. I was looking on um, LA Colors online. I didn't find any of these gift sets there. I think 
these gift sets, these LA Color gift sets are exclusive to Walgreens because I was browsing earlier on LA Color uh, website to see that if they are selling these palettes individual, I didn't find any of these palettes there. The only thing that I saw was they had their eyeshadow like palette, but those were not matte metallic. Those were only matte. So it said like new rose nude and all that. Anyways, so I'm going to try this palette. This blush shade set or the face palette is my favorite. As you can see already, I have used a lot. And every time that is when I'm doing my makeup, I've been reaching for this palette. So that says a lot. I am really enjoying this one. I was not expecting anything from this, but then once I used it the first time, I was like, what? Amazing. So for that, I will be taking my angled brush. So I will be using, mixing this shade first to contour and might go with the shade next to it as well. Depends. Do you see you guys how pigmented the color is? I love this palette. And the best part about this palette, like you have, you get everything. Your contour shades, your bronzer, highlight, and that two blush that comes. It could be, it goes with any look. And it also has a banana shade as well. So that you can use that banana shade on top of your concealer or even to clean out your jawline or all over the face just to brighten it up. You can do that too. So now I'm going to mix this cool shade, the one next to that warm dark brown. Oh, on my face for foundation, I'm, mix I'm using CoverGirl and Makeup Revolution. And as always, all my products in full will be in the box below. To clean it out, I will be taking a brush like this. Sorry, it's dirty. I know. Lately, I have been doing mini tutorials on Instagram. So I have been going through my brushes a lot. Sometimes I spot clean and sometimes I'm like too lazy to do. Like I'm trying to post every week tutorials on my Instagram which you should check out I will be leaving all my social uh, usernames in the box below so I'm taking the banana shade this one right here this one just to clean it out what one thing is like why is this palette big it's like a big palette I get really excited when I see like drugstore affordable brands bring out some good high quality products. It really makes me happy. And this face palette is a staple in my everyday drawer. Okay, my blush is, my contour is looking really intense. Let me clean it up, smooth it up a bit. So now for blush, I will be going ahead with this muted shade. It's like a light, oh no, it's like a muted pink shade, yeah. The other blush shade has like shimmer in it, so I'm not going to use that. But it could be a highlight or a blush topper as well for you. For me personally, I don't like blush to be shimmery. I like my blush matte. Do you see how pigmented the shades are? I really like it. Okay. So now the best part, the highlighter. First, let me give you guys a swatches of this. I hope I do a good job. Let me clean my hand. The highlighters are like so creamy and buttery, soft. Ready guys? Just 
look at the highlight shades. Isn't that amazing? Let me show you how it performs in the face. So for that, I'm taking my Morphe highlight brush. Okay. So for that, I will be going ahead with this shade. This one right here. As you can tell, I did, as you can tell, I have used this one and this one a lot. Okay. Little goes a long way. You guys see how intense is this? And how much was this palette? $10. Yes, $10. That's how it should be. Now, just wanted to show you guys, I'm taking the shade above it. This one right here, oh, sorry, this one right here. The only thing I don't like about this palette is the smell. I think it went too much into my nose. Just look at this, how intense the highlight is. I'm looking at the monitor right now. Amazing. Oh, the lip kit. So I also got this lip kit. I know it's missing two shade from here. I have already done a lip swatches of all these matte lip shades. So you can go on my Instagram. I'm going to write it below and you can see for yourself how this how each shades performs on my skin tone. I had no problem with the lip shades. The only thing that I noticed was the nude color. It was a little streaky. I had to go like two or three times I went to get the perfect color payoff on my lips but the rest of the shades went smoothly and it was true to color. I have not played with the lip gloss so I'm thinking what color should I be going with this look. Mm, I think I might do this. Oh another thing I wish this mini lip gloss lipsticks had like name or number it does not say anything so I cannot say what shade it is that's the only drawback but other than that I love this lipsticks it's very good it's not too drying and it does not transfer at all so let me try this shade and show you you guys see how pigmented it is the only problem I had was the with the nude shade, the light color. It was tricky. See guys, I only did one coat. I didn't have to go in to get a second coat. High shine lip gloss, it is. And the lip gloss also on their website, they're selling it for $3. That's an amazing deal. So what do you guys think? Personally, my opinion, I think this palette, this gift set are amazing. For the price you're paying, it is worth it. And the look came out so nice. Completely glam on for the holiday season or even for your everyday like these palettes You can do like neutral looks with these palettes as well Without spending a lot amazing personally. I Love I highly recommend the face palette and the lipstick. These are my favorite from the gift sets This is my finished glam makeup look that I created by using LA Colors gift sets and my thoughts on it as well. I hope you guys liked this tutorial and if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Until then, take care.